How's it? We are going to learn the pen tool in Illustrator, one of the most important tools for this program. Uh, let's go ahead and start. Uh, put P on your keyboard, P for pen. Uh, you'll have this brought out. And on your toolbar, uh, you'll actually see on your toolbar uh, little squares on the bottom. Um, basically, the first one, the square with the little square, that's your stroke. And then the other one, if you click it, that's the white, okay? Um, again, if you wanna reset those ever, you hit D, and then it'll go back to black and white. Uh, but basically, you're gonna have your pen tool, and then click here on this point there, and then click here, right like that. Now, what we wanna do is make sure it um, appears as a stroke. So what we're gonna do is open up your stroke window, so window stroke, with your stroke window, uh, you're gonna choose a weight. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, I'm gonna choose round cap, so it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, you can also choose your color. Double click on that uh, square within the square, and uh, choose your color, and then you hit OK. All right, so we just made a line um, with our pen tool. So as you can see, you can click and move this line. Uh, let's go ahead and keep making them. So P for pen and click and click and there's a pen. Let's do it again. We're going to go click. Oh, don't do that. Undo. Um, if you're going to start a new one, hit V as in Victor, click and then P for pen and then you can do a new one. Now with this one, you're going to do click, click, okay, and then click, click, click. And again, uh, make sure if it doesn't work, that you have a color selected and a stroke selected. Um, I'm going to show you something interesting with stroke. Um, if you have a, a a brush, you know you have you, there's B for brush. You can actually choose you know what style of uh, stroke this is. So for example, we have this stroke here, and right now it's whatever your default brush is. But you know you can change your uh, brush to a different one. So just go ahead and choose any brush that you want. Um, and then you'll have a bunch of brush options that open up and you can just click one and then you can kind of experiment with that. Okay, so uh, so yeah, go ahead and just choose a different brush. Uh, next, we're going to move over and do uh, this one. So Put a pen, P for pen, and click. And we're just going to click straight across. Um, to make it go straight across, across, you can hold down the shift key and it'll automatically be a straight line. So, you know, if you, it may not be like crooked. So if you hold on shift, it won't let it be crooked. See that? Now, uh, let's say I wanted to have uh, intersect right here in the middle. What you want to do here is we're going to add an anchor point. So we're going to uh, hold down on the pen tool and choose add anchor point. And then going to click on the anchor point. And we just added one. Hit A as an apple and click on that little point and then drag it up to that spot right there. And then we're going to add a weight and stroke it. And like so. I want to sh also show how you can edit this. Go back to your previous uh, path. Hit A. And then I can take the middle M and move it up slightly like that. So uh, actually, let's move it up and make it an A or a mountain. <laughs> so that's the way we can um, add. And sub you can also subtract uh, points too as well. Uh, let's go and do the rectangle. So just click, 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 and click. But now we're going to fill it. So remember we had white, so down here uh, you can choose a color and we're going to fill that with a different color. And let's do our star, so just go ahead and do click, 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 click. <clears throat> and notice that it's filling uh, within um, your points. Okay, let's go ahead and do this star right here. And we're gonna do something really creative with this one. All right, so with the pen tool, um, go ahead and 
click through to make this. And what we're going to do is actually make it a flower. So we're going to uh, make sure you close it. Uh, you know that it's closed when you see a little, uh, you can see a little circle next to the pen tool right now to the bottom right of it. So there I closed it and I'm going to change this to convert anchor point tool and I'm going to click on one of these points of the star okay and I'm just going to drag it down and a little wobbly like so okay and then click again so click and then drag it and make them a flower click 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 and drag click and drag good so we just made a flower spacebar and then you can easily navigate over now we're going to work on drawing it's really important to know how to draw with the pen tool so if you need to trace certain things uh, later we're going to be tracing um, this spaceship uh, for a future assignment you're going to be tracing uh, maybe parts of your head for a portrait or different objects uh, but in this case um, let's go ahead and do this one so I'm gonna zoom in okay first of all I'm gonna click on the squares okay click and hold it down and drag up the red circle means that's where you drag it up what we're doing is we're creating these little guides for us not a ruler guide but basically a drawing guide and then you're gonna click and then let go and then click on this other square and drag it down and then click and drag it down and then again you can tilt it according to where you need the line to be and then click and drag it down now we don't um, as you can see it's filling it but it's not showing us the stroke if you see in the bottom left uh, there's a color is fill but then there's no stroke so actually I'm going to switch those hit the arrow and switch those two so that there's no fill and there is a stroke and now it looks pretty good um, so let's move over here and try this for so the P is in pen click and drag up and then click and drag up and we just made that and again make sure you stroke it uh, a certain color let's go ahead and do this one V P is in pen drag up okay now here I'm going to click and drag down right here but uh, in this case um, I can't like what should you do next um, if I uh, click here it's gonna be all weird and you can't really do anything about it so what you're gonna do is hold down the uh, option key and you're gonna click on that anchor and you'll see this little tick mark on the bottom right of the pen tool and basically we're removing that little guide so that we can um, draw a little bit easier okay so with the pen tool you're gonna drag click and drag up basically we took we got rid of the other guide that was below it and we're gonna add this new guide above it uh, so just do it and you'll see what I mean and then you're gonna click on this square and drag down and now it works and again we need to fill it so fill it okay <clears throat> V then P click click uh, and then make sure you when you click here you um, you're going to hold down the option key to get rid of the anchor and you're going to click and drag up for your guide and then click and drag down okay and again you can't just click here because it's gonna be weird you have to hold down the option key and get to, and then subtract this little guide because we want to go straight that guide's gonna make it curve so there now it's gone and now I can just go straight over and I can color it and it's colored <clears throat> for the circle uh, you're going to uh, click drag up go over to the other square click and drag down and click here and drag down and we just made a cool little circle
And let's do one more. So P for pen, click, hold on shift, click, and click and drag down, click, drag down, hold on the option key, get rid of that, and shift, click, and we do color. Good, so that's how we do it. Now let's do our spaceship. For our spaceship, uh, when we do this, so P for pen, uh, click on it. And again, I would start with a stroke color so you can kind of see a bright color, contrasting color, so you can see what's going on and kind of thick. So I'm going to click on the A and drag over. Okay. Click on the B and drag down. Click on it. Now, if you want a straight line, again, you can't just click on it. It's going to be curved. So you have to hold down the option key click to get rid of that guide. Click on C, click on D, and then click on E and drag it down like so. Click on Option and click on E to get rid of the guide because you want to go straight down to F. And then click on G and drag it down to do the outline. And then we got to click on H and drag it down and arc it. Okay, notice how I'm uh, again I'm holding it down and I'm anchoring it to the left and to the right. Just play around with that. Then I'm going to click on I and move that upwards. I'm going to click on J and drag that like so. Now I'm going to be going straight up, so I don't need that extra uh, guide. So hold down the Option key, get rid of that, go straight up, and then I can click it and straight up and go up to that little dot. Click on the square and go down. And I don't need that guide, so I'm going to go straight. So Option, click on the point, click on M, click on N. And then click on N again and drag up the guide. And now we're going to make sure you close it. So uh, put your point around A, but make sure you see a little circle, okay, to, make, to show it closes it and then arch it. Now, uh, again, you want, this time we're going to fill it. So um, fill it with the color of your choice, uh, like so. And then you're going to stroke it with the color of your choice um, as well. And with the brush of your choice. Okay. And then you're going to put T for text. And you're going to put created by and then your class ID. Um, and then go ahead, Command T, and then make that kind of big. Um, and then hit. Command Shift O to make that an object, and you'll notice that it's no longer text, it's like a little object.